It's the dark side of state government. Each year, taxpayers shell out tens of millions of dollars to pay for government wrongdoing. That's the finding of a groundbreaking 10-month Larry Barker investigation. Those payments have always been a closely guarded secret until now. Tonight, Larry exposes the negligence files. It's heartbreaking. No one should have to read the things that I've had to read in this position. I think looking from outside in, it, it's shocking to, to see that figure. Who puts the bill for these millions of dollars that are paid out? These are public funds, so they come from the taxpayers. It's an obscure government program shrouded in secrecy, yet it impacts taxpayers to the tune of tens of millions of dollars every year. Expenditures are so hush-hush, no one in the legislature knows where the money goes. Even the governor is kept in the dark. The program is administered from an unmarked office suite in a Santa Fe office building. Welcome to New Mexico's risk management. Anytime a state employee is accused of wrongdoing, everyone from file clerks to the governor, the case is handled by risk management. Some cases are frivolous, some end up in court, and some are settled quietly with confidential cash payments. Last year, it cost New Mexico taxpayers some $40 million for everything from medical malpractice to negligence, discrimination to civil rights violations. There is some element of wrongdoing involved in every one of these cases, is that right? Absolutely. Laura Davis heads up New Mexico's Risk Management Division. We deal with uh, cases across the spectrum of, of difficulty in terms of, you know, really small cases to cases that are really tragic and egregious. Settlement cases are so sensitive that by state law they're confidential. However, following a News 13 public records request, Risk Management agreed to release hundreds of previously confidential case files. It's a first ever inside look at the seamy side of state government. The mistakes, the mischief, and the wrongdoing. The documents reflect a six year period in which risk management settled almost 300 state government liability claims, which cost taxpayers more than $72 million. For example, when drug agents raided the wrong house in Rio Arriba County, the state quietly settled by paying the homeowners $31,000. After former state fire marshal George Chavez accused then insurance superintendent Eric Cerna of harassment, New Mexico settled with Chavez for a half million dollars. In 2010, UNM Hospital's Vice President for Clinical Affairs, Dr. Robert Katz, was accused of having multiple inappropriate sexual relationships with patients. An out-of-court settlement cost taxpayers $1.1 million. I would hope that when we make a, a decision to settle a case for a million dollars, we feel like we're protecting the public liability fund from a potential hit of multi-millions of dollars. Cases reviewed by News 13 reflect allegations of misconduct across state government, corrections, health, human services, transportation, public regulation commission. Release documents show the state police was named in 51 liability cases which were settled for more than $7 million. That includes the $225,000 paid to the family of Cordell Doby. The unarmed Doby was killed by state police officer James Rempe after a car chase that ended on the Navajo reservation. Wait, Louis, come out. In 2010, state police officers shot and killed Luis Montoya at his home in Cordova. Montoya's family filed a wrongful death claim. The case was settled for $220,000. We're a human force. We're not a bunch of robots, so we're going to make mistakes. It's how we adjust and learn from those so we don't do it again. Pete Cassettis is chief of the state police. We make hundreds of thousands of contacts a year with the public. And that $7 million represents some of the, some, a minimal amount of contacts that, that didn't go so well. Chief Cassetta says every accusation of wrongdoing is a lesson learned. We want to be good stewards of tax dollars. We don't want to be paying out 
large amounts of money. When we do something wrong and we're, we are on the hook for a certain amount of, of taxpayer money, we're always trying to learn from that, Larry. We're always trying to adjust how we do business. Documents turned over to News 13 show the Children, Youth and Families Department was named in 33 cases, resulting in settlements totaling more than $15 million. Among those cases, a young woman with disabilities was sexually abused by her adoptive father. CYFD caseworkers were accused of civil rights violations. The state settled the case for $850,000. In 2011, CYFD placed a four-year-old with foster parents. However, after the four-year-old was blinded at the hands of the foster parents, risk management paid out $2.1 million to settle the case. The victims in another abuse case were five Artesia children who were subjected to repeated sexual abuse at the hands of an unfit father. CYFD caseworkers were accused of violating the rights of the children. The case was settled for almost $5 million. We're trying to control human behavior for our most vulnerable populations in the most unstable situations. No child should have to experience what some of our children here in New Mexico have experienced. Monique Jacobson is cabinet secretary at CYFD. When we're reading about tragedies that occur uh, to our children, it's first and foremost heartbreaking. The second thing that goes through my mind though is that we have to look at how we can improve as an agency. Risk management documents show the UNM hospital was implicated in 103 medical malpractice settlements totaling more than $27 million. They include the case of an eight-year-old who was rendered a quadriplegic after spinal surgery went awry. The medical malpractice claim was settled for $1 million. In 2009, a young woman underwent a C-section. During the surgery, her colon was perforated. The state settled the case for $1.6 million. In 2008, surgeons accidentally perforated a woman's bowel during a routine procedure. Complications set in and the woman died. A wrongful death claim was settled for $700,000. UNMH is New Mexico's only level one trauma hospital. They get the worst of the worst cases. The people that go through those doors are the sickest, the most hurt, they're in the most dire condition of any other hospital in the state. The doctors and nurses and other allied professionals at UNM have a real challenge trying to take care of those people. Last year, about a half million patients were treated at UNMH. Everything they touch is a potential exposure, no matter what. And when those claims do come to risk management, we have to make a value judgment about how successful a defense may be and oftentimes we need to settle one of those claims because we don't think that we can effectively communicate the complex medical issue to a jury. Since 2012, risk management has paid out more than $123 million for alleged wrongdoing throughout state government. What's great about the American justice system is that there are no locks on the doors and anybody at any time can walk into a courthouse and file a lawsuit against the state. And our job then is to figure out if there's a bona fide claim behind that lawsuit. Murray Barker, KRQE News 13.